Hi there and welcome. My name is Gabriella Rosa. I'm a fertility specialist and founder of naturalfertilitybreakthrough.com. And one of the questions that I get asked so very often is, you know, why do I have to make all of these changes or changes to my lifestyle or to my diet when I am trying to conceive? And it's a really great question, you know, and, and certainly it's a question that a lot of our patients ask as well prior to joining our program. The truth is that our methodology is highly encompassing and, and really what we're looking at when we're doing uh, what we need to do on the fertile method, we are really wanting to understand several things. We're wanting to understand what it is that your lifestyle is like and how we can improve it, but also we need to really come down to the reality of what's going on when you are not conceiving. And that is the, the kind of like, you know, where we really get need to get the clarity of your situation. Because if you're not conceiving, one of two things is happening. Either, well, actually there are many, many, many things that could be happening, but truly um, one of the things that we need to have a look at is what is it that you can do to optimize and take charge of your situation? So we need to look at the self-care aspects of what's going on for you. We then also need to have a look at the science and the evidence and what it is that from a scientific perspective, you can be doing from a, a biochemical perspective, you know, your test results, how your body's operating, how your body's responding to things, and take all of that into one big um, you know, I guess mount of, of mountain of information. Once we understand that, once we do that, then we need to have a look at what are the peripheral situations that could be impacting you. And that might very well be something that's happening within you, or it might be other things that are happening out there in the environment. Epigenetics is the answer as to why some people conceive doing all of the wrong things, and some people conceive whilst seemingly not needing to do all of the right things, if you know what I'm saying. You know, you might be complaining or thinking or considering, you know, hang on a second, I've always been healthy, I eat a, a healthy diet, I have a good lifestyle, I do all of the right things and here I am having difficulties conceiving. And or my sister, neighbor, brother, you know, whoever, um, they drink, they smoke, they do drugs and they're having healthy babies. Again, what it comes down to is not so much about what is happening for other people and what's happening out there in the environment, but it, how is it that your body is responding and how it is that you are being affected in this situation is going to really be the key aspect that we need to change if we are to give you the very best possible situation and chance to create a healthy baby of your dreams. So it doesn't matter what people are doing out there. The reality is if it's not happening for you, changes need to be made and you need to do what it takes now. So I hope that helps and it gives you a little bit of extra clarity and I will talk to you again soon. Until then, bye for now.